Okay, good day, guys. Well, good evening, actually. Welcome to another Zoom session. Um, this is Zoom session 12 for 13. Uh, yeah, I know I was supposed to have our session yesterday, and I promised to record the session. Um, but yeah, like yesterday was very hectic, and I don't want to give you guys rough work, you know. So, and I had like network problems, couldn't access the internet to analyze, you know uh because i had uh plans you know so as much as i did try to put business first i don't want to rush business see i rather sit down and do business when i'm focused and have no distractions right so um yeah i do apologize but that this is like the second or third time no this is like the third time i'm postponing a session but like most of the time guys like zoom sessions are always deliver if I postpone Sunday, definitely get it on Monday. Setups, like I deliver when there's a setup, you know, available when there's, when like there's a trade ready, right? So, yeah, guys, welcome to the Zoom session. And um, apology accepted. <laughs> Wait, I just want to double check that it's recording. Okay, yeah. All right, guys, so as you all know, Sundays we, we like... Okay, not Sunday, sorry. My, like, you know, Zoom sessions, we're just strictly analyzing, right? Basically me showing you guys how I look at the charts, right? Because a lot of people do know how to trade. A lot of people know how to draw trade lines. A lot of people know how to, you know, execute trades and everything. But these sessions are just there for your guidance. You know what I mean? So let me delete this, all of this, guys. So let me just reset. Another tip, guys, that I keep giving, but people keep forgetting, is that when you start your analysis, okay, you all know it's on the daily time frame, right? But zoom out four times. One, two, three, four. The reason why I say zoom out four times is because you can see the chart clearly. You can see your higher lows clearly, your higher highs, your lower lows, your lower highs clearly. See, right now, I can see my higher lows clearly because I zoomed out. I can see my higher lows, right? So you connect your trend line. Oh, this is NASDAQ, by the way, in case somebody asks, right? And I do the same it's cold. And I do the same for the other side. You know, I'm sure right now, guys, it's like, I know I repeat the same thing every week, but, you know, like, this thing is like studying, man. Like, if you keep going over it, you'll, you'll know, you know, it'll get into your head eventually. Like, I'm sure most, most of you guys, even me, I was also a student, like, in school. You know, the more you go over something, the more you remember. You know what I mean? So Forex is no different. The more you go over, or the more you actually pay attention to it, the more you you, you adapt and the more you learn. You know what I mean? And the more you improve. You know, like you're not going to pass a test by just studying the day before. You can't, you can't like learn how to trade today and expect to make profits tomorrow. You know, you can't study a test today and expect to get 100% tomorrow. You got to, and weeks in advance, right? Ish, I'm going too much into psychology, right? Okay, sure. So I've drawn my, my trend lines. You can see that NASDAQ is in the channel. Ish, I'm trying to zoom out. Sorry, you can see the NASDAQ is in the channel, right? And yes, ever since we got this touch over here, ever since we got this touch over here, we are long term, we are anticipating NASDAQ to come back to the parallel trend line. Eventually, trust me, guys, NASDAQ will eventually come back to that parallel trend line, right? But we that, that's too far from now, you know what I mean? So let's dig deep into the market. Let's dig a bit deeper into the market, right? So let's go down to H4. H4 again, guys, literally, oh, sorry, I zoom out again four times. One, two, three, four. I do this just to see everything clearly, guys. A lot of people get caught on the wrong side of the market because they don't zoom out, right? So I can see that we have this, uh, this is our this is a uh, highest point. Sorry, right. So you just want to just draw that in, you know, just so we I have understanding of the market, you know, reading market structure, right? Okay, a lot of people will be like, okay, but do you always say trend lines, water, water, right? But you can see this one is like steep, right? And we only have two touches. Okay, sure, it's fine. You can draw it in. You can draw it in, right? So I'm not saying it's wrong. Then now just zoom in. Look at past levels, right? So literally, guys, you just need to, I won't say you need to like focus, you just look at, you must be able to read the charts. You know what I mean? 
so I can actually see yeah, that this is a high, this is a high, this is a low, low, low. Something's here. Something is here. Boom, there we go. Right? So now I can see that, oh, okay. NASDAQ is approaching. I keep missing the zoom in thing. I do apologize. Let me just close this. So we can see that NASDAQ is actually on a strong zone. As you can see, it was support, 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 broke, retested, support, turn into resistance, resisted again, be resisting, you know what I mean? And right now we are actually resisting too, right? So this is, this is, this is a, how do I say it? This is a, a high, prob this is a, this is an area with the, with the high probability of uh, reversal, meaning that NASDAQ, the chances of NASDAQ to drop are currently greater, right? Due to this zone, guys, like pure, like trade what you see, not what you think, guys. But yet again, I'm not saying it's definitely gonna go down. It, I'm sure you guys have had setups where um, you analyze the markets and it just goes, doesn't go your way. That's fine. You know, end of the day, you stuck to your trading rules. Pre Breakouts retest, you know, retest, retest, that's fine, you know. So purely just looking at it, as you can see that this is a zone, guys. This is a zone, yeah. We just need confirmation that we're going to get this reversal. So now we come on to H1. <clears throat> H1, yeah, it's a Monday. I thought it was Sunday. H1, you can see that the previous candlesticks were bullish. We just zoom out so I can connect this trend line properly. One second. I like my charts to be needs. There we go. So we just connect the wicks. I mean, the, yeah. Just like this, you know. So you can just see that just wicked below, but they end up closing above. So you can actually see that. Uh, one second. I just want to draw this in so you guys understand. We have our first such over here. We have our second such over there. Let's get a mouse. <clears throat> we have a third touch over here, right? And we have a fourth, right? So we could anticipate a fifth touch, right? But remember, guys, we are right now, we current NASDAQ is currently sitting on a zone. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see how NASDAQ reacted to the zone. You can see, guys, that momentum actually pretty much came to an end. You can see that we had strong bullish momentum, you know, strong bullish momentum. But then once NASDAQ, uh, once price got to this zone, it literally reversed. Look at this meltdown. Pure, simple setup, guys. You can see support, 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 support. Broke out, turned into resistance. Look at that massive drop. Again, you know, boom, again. And then again here. Yeah. Okay, this one was just playing around. Took out a small, took out some, took out some uh, small accounts, right? You can pretty much see like a lot of people would it would have entered, uh, so they see that that enter right here, you know. So then yeah, they'll see deep profits. I mean, not deep profits. They'll see small running profits, right? Small running profits. This is how the brokers work, guys. You see profits, see profits, small profits, five hundred profits. You get greedy, you add brah, barcode. I right? the market will just trace a little bit to take you out to go back to the zone. Sometimes it isn't a fake card. Sometimes it's just your execution that was wrong and your entry points, you know? Whereas if you did say now, you enter with proper risk management, you know, you wouldn't have been blown out. But what I'm basically trying to say is that you can pretty much see that this zone has been respected, guys. And as you know, in trading history, most of the time repeats itself, guys. You can see touch the zone, drop. Imagine just from a simple breakout retest, support, 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 breakout retest. Retest, retest, look at that. Dropped, 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 <laughs> right? So I was just basically the same setup. Uh, right now, actually, don't mind the black line. The black line was that entry point I was talking about, right? So I just want to wait for, I just want to see clear, clear confirmation, guys. You can pretty much see that there's still strong bullish momentum ever since this week. Yeah, there has been strong bullish momentum. And this kind of stick is still pretty much bullish. Um, still has strong momentum, even though, yes, it worked and closed below the zone, but it isn't enough, you know? We need to wait for like a, a doji or like a bearish engulfing candlestick or something, you know? So let's, <laughs> excuse me, keep an eye on that stack, but I am anticipating shorts 
if the zone is respected. I uh, always mix this thing. I uh, always mix this thing up. So I am anticipating sounds guys only if um, that zone is respected. You know what I mean? You can pretty much see on H4, it's H4 is still extremely bullish. You just zoom in properly, you can see H4 is still extremely bullish, it's still extremely bullish, right? So weak traders would have entered, weak traders would enter sounds right now. Okay, let me not say weak, I can take that back. Let me say aggressive traders, right? Would enter sounds right now, just because it touched the zone. But as conservative traders, as traders who, not, not that we're playing it small, but we're playing, not that we're playing it safe, but, we're using, like, we're being wise with money. This is money, guys, at the end of the day. Wherever we get it from, like, guys, you need to be wise with that money, right? So you can't just enter, you know? Like, we need proper confirmation. You're risking, guys, you're risking money. Imagine, would you just give your car up to someone you don't know? Nah, you know, you want to have, you want to have trust with in person. But yeah, that's my NASDAQ setup, guys. Let me know what you think of the setup and the explanation. And if you guys understand in the chat before I proceed, I just want to make sure everyone, everybody, everybody is on um, track. I know last night, this one I explained it. And this one. What did you say with the with a sell, bro? Uh, some some sort of reversal, bro. Uh, uh, candlestick change in momentum, you know, like a doji four hour candle to be like you know to be pretty, to be pretty much bearish. You can see it's still it's extremely bullish right now. So, uh, yeah, that's that's what will determine. Um, that's what will determine. Bro, please re-explain. Hey, I just took like 10 minutes to explain this. I'll save it. The Zoom session will be saved. So that's my analysis on that's my analysis on NASDAQ, guys. Yo, daily candle is extremely, extremely bullish. So what I could, what I also do see happening is that this zone could actually be broken, right? And then NASDAQ could come back to the all-time high, which is this zone over here. I can't see it right now because my face cam's in the way. 15,700 Right. But let's first see how NASDAQ reacts to that zone. Let's do the threshold you said about waiting for the confirmation. Yes. Yeah, I am waiting. I am waiting for a short term sell. But if we do the four hour closes, that's where we can have more confirmation. It depends on how the four hour closes. You know, uh, you need to look at that candlestick by candlestick. So a bearish candle will confirm. It depends on some bearish candle if it's a bear, if it's a doji a bearish engulfing candle, you know what I mean? Or if you get like a strong wick, you know what I mean? Does it trust you work for synthetic indices? Uh, it's not that consistent. Even me, I'm not that consistent with VIX. So that's why I don't provide VIX. Yeah, we're expecting a short sound just from reading the charts. But anyways, guys, let's not waste time. Let's move on to the next. All right. Okay, I'm closing the chat now because this thing is disturbing. I don't want to... I don't want to... Let's see. Daily time frame. I know this looks confusing. But at this point, drawing in your support and everything is pretty much useless because you can see that current market price is extremely far from those levels, you know what I mean? So this is plot our previous high, right? Here it is. It is this bright, sorry, hold on. Previous high day, right? So just want to show you guys that these setups are always guaranteed to be respected. Right, just look at this is the daily time frame. We can see that the market was making a rally to the upside, right? And everybody was waiting for a reversal around here, right? Yes, you can see 
daily candle closed with a strong, strong, strong wick rejection. Instead of closing below this high over here, many people in the suns. I'm not even joking, even out in the If I saw this today, I was in the sun. I don't want to lie because I've been a gold double top pattern. First top. First top. I've been like, oh, okay. Strong wick rejection. I. This is my second top. Me, I'm selling. Nope. See what the market did. These things happen. These things happen. No strategy is 100%. No strategy is 100%. Right. So this is dig down to four hour. You can see it's just it's a mess. So to show you guys something that okay, yes, you can see that it did drop. Uh, there you go. So we go down. Okay. So you do see that we do have this how we are on the on the four hour time frame. And obviously on the same zone, we would expect a close below and some sort of bearish candle, you know what I mean? And we did get that. You can see strong work rejection, a nice bearish candle. Yeah, a choppy sell, not one of the best, right? This is when you need to use, not multi-strategy, multi but don't only look at support and resistance. So we draw in our trend line. So, okay, obviously I always start my trend line on the lowest. Right, and I can see that I know this isn't working out. So I'm moving to my next low. I don't know if I said lowest, but I'm going to say low. I'm like, okay, it's not working out. So I'm moving to my next low, which is this one over here. Uh -huh. I'm seeing some something, you know? Right, so this is big down. Now we can see that we, now you can see that we actually have this trend line. One, two, so we do have decent touches of this trend line. Uh, one. So the rest is here forever. So yeah, I don't count that as a touch. Right. Uh, just dig down to H1 so everything is clearer. So I'm just gonna mark this in guys so that the analysis is clean. But remember, this is the zone where we did anticipate that double top pattern. Right. So you can pretty much see that right now. Your duty is like playing around, you know. You can see that okay, showed some sign of reversal, look faked out and came back down. You know what I mean? Showed some sign of reversal, strong wick, nope, just shut up. Then came back down. You know, this is just pure market conditions, guys, and there's nothing you can honestly do. You know what I mean? So this is where I actually play around. So one hour time frame, you can pretty much see that we in an uptrend. You can see our higher lows and our higher highs. So yeah, we in an uptrend. I just realized this right now. But looking at it now. This is a pure price action pattern. Uh, you can see that we are actually having a triangle, right? And we are about to get to the, I forgot the correct terminology, but the this corner here, which is the point where it's most likely to break out, right? But I do, this looks like some sort of a, a rising wedge. So, and this is basically actually a sun, guys, looking at it from price action, right? But yet again, it all depends on how um, US Dirty reacts to this upward trend line. So that's US Dirty. Leave a message in the chat. I don't know if I can move on to the next one. I don't know if I can move on to the next one. Yo. Hi, excuse my own guys. -ish. Okay, I'm proper. So do you guys get this move proper? All right. Let's go. German dirty eye, but this one's playing games. US dirty is just hit resistance. Yeah, okay, I, I saw it. Like a double top type of pattern. Last night was a movie. I understand. 
you can see that we do have a double top top pattern. So we can, you see now, you can see that NASDAQ is sitting on its own too, but it hasn't, okay, it could drop, but we don't have enough confirmation. Whereas US Dirty, we have confirmation. We have two sets, no, three confirmation. We have one, a rising wedge, symmetrical triangle, whatever you guys call it, both actually patterns, right? And that's a bearish reversal pattern, right? Two, you can see that we have a triple top. This is a triple top or what? If I'm here, like forcing, but okay, let's call it a triple top. Let me just remove this, these things here. Right. Yeah, this is actually going to drop. You to see as is actually going to drop, right? And we have a yeah triple top strong with rejection. Yeah, you to see is going to drop. I'm actually going to let me take a picture of this right now so I can send the analysis after the Zoom session. You to see is going to drop, and this is one of those dangerous drops where you could actually drop past the trend line, like you know, just melt down. So yeah, US dirty is actually available for sales. I'm gonna release the signal and the setup with the explanation, but you can pretty much see triple top pattern guys, simple. So that's US dirty. What do you guys? US dirty, yeah, what do you guys think in the chat? But you can see we we don't have a third touch. We have two touches. You know what I mean? So just give me your guys' viewpoints in the chat. It's definitely going to drop. Yeah, the chances of it right now dropping, it's not complicated things. It'd be like, no, it's supposed to go to that trend line. Like we see a triple top pattern, we see wick rejection, we see bearish candles. Yeah. You know, so we actually, yeah. Now the hard part comes execution, because somebody is here with the 300 grand accounts, they're going to enter a sell right now, right, they're going to enter a sell right now, it's going to play around and then possibly go up, then come down, guys, you know, as a person with a 3k account, so it's going to be able to survive this movement, you know what I mean, guys, so execution is something else that I'm going to host that I want to talk about it on Zoom. Right. But if your account is small, that's the thing, guys. Like if you're a beginner, not even add trade small accounts, guys, because I know how the market is. I know how market conditions are, guys. Just this is actually running for sales right now. I wish there was a way for me to send this to the group, but I'm on a live Zoom and the thing won't say. German. 40, as they call it now. Same analysis from, same analysis from last time. I don't want to delete it because it's going to take time. So basically, excuse me. So basically, yeah, you can see that we have a downward trend line. One. Is must I zoom in or is this? Let me zoom in a bit. So one, two. And yeah. Right, okay. Many people will be like, oh, what do you only say was collect our trend line? There we go. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is just to keep the analysis clean. I'm gonna delete this because it's far and irrelevant right now. I can keep this in. So right now. What your account size, your guys, how oh, like 2K guys, 2000 rand. You can't deposit 300 and expect to make 10,000. So I can see, uh, this practice is up. Okay, there we go. Yeah. You can see we have first top. Ah, I wouldn't really call this a second, but you can see that we're currently sitting on this previous time over here. 
That's why I need to wait and see how German 40 reacts to the song. Trying to move on to this decant. This one's a nice buy. USD CAD guys, four hour time frame. You can see the previous low broke out, retested. Guys, ever since then, USD CAD has been dropping. It has been dropping, so we got the slow here. Right? And you can see that now on USD CAD, um, we have higher lows, right? Okay, sorry, I'll read in the chat. Um, yeah, right, and you can see that we have our downward trend line. So looking at pure price action, you can see that the four hour trend line closed above, sorry, 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 sorry. You can see that the four hour candlestick closed above this um, trend line, right? This would get as a retest on the smaller time frame. Okay, US decad is another one on this release. So you can see simple breakout and retest setup. You even got our candle. Ah, this is this thing is a definite buy, guys. To where many people might ask, who take profit can be your previous high. Okay, I just got a session. I just got a message that I'm running out of time with Zoom. First take profit can be your previous high. So that's TP over TP number one, right? And then your second could be like the zone, guys. So yeah, that's that's it. Other setups, I'm waiting for them to play out. Like this is UPUSD. I'm waiting for it to fully um, break or break the trend line. But otherwise, there's nothing else at the moment. Definitely will be an update in the group chat if there's more sales, but USD can valid right now. And US dirty. USD can US dirty. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna save the session. Um yeah, setups will be coming during the week when I see a proper trade. Um, because remember, we want to rush anything. What about the giveaway? Yeah, I'm going to host giveaways, trading giveaways, um, rewards for students, withdrawing, biggest withdrawal, or set a target, be like 3K withdrawal. Like, it's something I'm still going to speak about. You know what I mean? Uh, someone who makes a, you know, just want to speak, want to speak on it, want to speak on it. So that's all for today's Zoom session, guys. Um, I do hope you guys took some notes and now let's just keep an eye on the markets and let's wait for those setups to play out. US30 and USD CAD are valid right now. Right now, after this Zoom, I'm going to take a nap. When I wake up, I'm going to analyze more and just look for setups, fish for setups. Literally, guys, you need to go to the ocean and dig that fish up. You know, you can't expect to chill on the sand and wait for the fish to come to you. So I'm going to take a nap and I'm going to analyze all the pairs and then pick the best setups. Um, so yeah, shout out guys. Um, yeah, let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. You know the vibes.